Simon Harrison, Head Professional at Lilybrook Golf Club in Cheltenham. Welcome to another in the series of my golf tips. Today we're going to talk about the slice and what causes the slice and more importantly the way in which you need to release the club in order to stop a slice. Firstly I'm going to explain how a slice is caused. The reality of a slice is that coming into the ball the heat or the butt of the club, the butt end of the club and your hands are leading ahead of the club head. So my hands are leading the club. That now means that the club face is open or pointing to the right for a right-handed golfer. That means that through impact you steer and try and block the ball with an open club face which puts side spin on the ball to leap the ball over to the right. What we need to try and get you to do is to get a swing where you allow the club head to catch up to the ball and release through and past the ball so that you can square the club face back up to the target line. Therefore giving you a square blade for a straighter shot but also increased power. So how are we going to do that? Well somehow we've got to get that moving quicker than these. So first drill for you. If you grab a stick you can actually use a golf club turned upside down, so you're holding the head end. If you grab a stick, take your grip as you would normally take your grip, and set up as you would normally set up. Now what I want you to do is do a swing at speed, and listen for where your whoosh is, where the noise of the club is. Most people who slice will have lost the whoosh by here, or they won't really get the whoosh because they're not allowing the stick to move at speed. So, most people will tend to do that. There's no real whoosh. You can see the stick is not moving faster than the hands. What we're looking for is the whoosh to be just before the ball and through and past the ball. That means, a bit like a boxer throwing a punch, coming into the point of actually making contact, you're trying to go beyond for maximum power, trying to go beyond for maximum power, rather than you've lost the power before you get to the ball. So, back to the stick. If we now do a swing, and on the way down, I'm going to try and get the whoosh just before and afterwards. Now you can probably see by my finish there, the only way I've been able to do that is that the stick end is moving considerably quicker than my hands. So I am firing the stick down the target line. That's now meaning I am releasing my right hand for a power source. Another great way of getting that feeling probably recognize one of these. It's a dog ball thrower. If you get one of these dog ball thrower and grip it as you would normally grip it so that the releasing part of the thrower is pointing down the line. If you don't release the club on the way through the ball will stay in the cup and tend to shoot over your shoulder. If you release it too early the ball will be thrown out beforehand and go behind you. So that's known as the casting element. The correct release would mean that as I throw the ball, it's going to be thrown straight down the target line, as you would if you skipped a stone on water or threw the ball to the target. And the only way of doing that is timing the right hand to throw the ball at the moment of impact. So let's have a go. Throwing it down the line. 